Hello guys, uh, magandang umaga. Um, pagpatuloy natin yung lesson natin dito sa thermodynamics. no? So, ang next lesson ko sa thermodynamics is um, thermal properties of matter. Okay? So, yung temperature and heat is tapos na nating i-discuss. So, punta tayo sa topic number 2. So, dito, um, meron siyang sub subtopic, no? So, subtopic niya is equation of state. So, molecular property of matter, kinetic molecular model of an ideal gas, heat capacities, uh, molecular speeds, and yung speed, uh, spaces, spaces of matter. Okay? So, let's start with the equation of state. Yan. So, napakaraming ano, no? Napakaraming matutunan tayo sa pagdating sa thermodynamics na nagagamit na pala natin nung impisa pa lang. So for example, uh, kapag nagluluto tayo sa ating mga kusina, no, marami tayong uh, pwedeng i-relate about sa properties of matter. So for example, kapag nagpapakulo tayo ng tubig, no, sa isang takore, so kapag nagtumataas yung temperature, um, nakakapag-produce siya ng steam. No. And pag merong steam, meron tayong tinatawag na pressure na siya yung nagpapawisel o nagpapapito doon sa ating um, takore. No. So, isa ding example dito is yung kapag um, hin kapag hin nakalimutan nating maglagay ng mga butas-butas sa mga potatoong ating binibake. So, the high pressure ng steam na nasa loob ng potato um siya yung rason kung bakit ito pumuputok. Okay? So, ngayon, pasok tayo dito sa equation of state. So, the condition in which a particular material exists are described as physical quantities such as pressure, volume, temperature, and amount of substance. So, for example, no, a tank of oxygen in a welded outfit has a pressure gauge and a level in stating its volume. We could add a thermometer and place the tank on the scale to determine its mass. So, this variable describes the state of material and are called state variables. So, the volume B ng substance, no, yung B daw, or volume, Nang isang substance is usually determined by its pressure, no? Yan. So the volume of a substance is usually determined by its pressure and uh, pressure, temperature and mass. Okay? So the yung T, temperature And amount of substance na, na dinin-describe natin ng M total. So, ito yung tinatawag nating mass. Ayan. So, pwede, na rin, pwede rin natin tong tawagin na number of moles or yung tinatawag nating N. So, this is number of moles. Ayan. So, dito sa chapter na to, um, gagamitin natin yung M. No? For mass of 1 mole. So, dito ang gagamitin natin yung M. So, ang M daw is mass of, of 1 molecule or 1 mole. Mass of 1 Molecule. Papasok tayo sa chemistry, no? So, ordinarily, we can change one of this variable without causing 
a change in another. So, meron silang ano, pagkakadikit-dikit. So, when the tank of oxygen gets hotter, the pressure increase. If the tanks gets too hot, it explodes. So, yun ang isang magandang example doon. So, yung tank down ng oxygen, pag nilagyan natin ng heat or temperature, yung loob niya is magkakaroon ng rise ng pressure. So, yung pressure naman na yun is magpapataas ng kanyang volume. Pag tumas ang volume nito, ang mangyayari, mag explode yung tanki na yun. So, one of the best example. So, in a few cases, the relationship between P, uh, B, P, T, and M is simply enough. We can express it equation called the, uh, the, called the equation of state. So, when it's too complicated for that, we can use graph or numerical tables. Even then, the relationship among the variables is still exist. We call, uh, we call it equation of state even we didn't know the actual equation. So, so here is a simple approximate equation of state of solid material. So, the temperature coefficient expansion or yung tinatawag nating beta. So, beta is um, volume expansion. Ayan. So, volume expansion or beta is the fractional volume change. So, ibig sabihin, yung B daw, is yung fractional volume change or delta B over B initial or BO. So, per unit temperature change and compressibility K. So, So, compressibility K daw is negative for the fractional volume na uh, um, B, uh, delta B over BO per unit pressure changes. So, if a certain amount of material has a initial volume when pressure in is initial and the temperature is initial. So, the volume B is slightly differ uh, differing pressure P and temperature T. So, dito may papasok tayo na formula. No? Yung B is equal to BO, the quantity 1 plus beta, no? T minus T initial or temperature initial minus K, P or pressure. PO or pressure initial yan yan so there is a negative sign in front of term K ito meron daw meron daw dito negative na no? because an increase in pressure cause a decrease in volume okay So, ayan siya. So, papasok dito tayo sa tinatawag na ideal gas equation. So, please take note of this, no? So, another simple equation of state is one, is the one for ideal gas. So, itong figure na to is nagpapakita ng experimental setup ng isang pag-aaral sa isang behavior of gas. So, the cylinder has a moving piston to vary the volume. No, meron daw siyang uh, piston dito. Okay? So, ito, binabari niya yung volume. So, the temperature can be varied by heating 
and we can pump any desired amount of any gas into the cylinder. We then measure the pressure, volume, temperature, and amount of gas. So, take note that the pressure refers both to the force per unit area ex exerted by the cylinder on the gas, to the force per unit area exerted by the gas on the cylinder. So, ito yung tinatawag natin Newton's third law. Okay? So, it is usually easy. Easiest to describe the amount of gas in terms of number of moles or yung letter N yung sinabi ko kanina, rather than the mass. We need this when the defined molar heat capacity. So the molar mass na malaking letter M of a compound or sometimes tinatawag natin molecular weight is the mass per mole. And the total mass, yung M na merong total, no? Ito. Yan. is given the quantity of that compound is the number of moles n times the mass per mole yung malaking m. So, dito papasok yung ating formula na ganito. m total equals to n na, tapos malaking m. Okay? So, hence, it, uh, if we know the number of moles of a gas in the cylinder, we can determine the mass of a gas using yung equation na to. No? So, measurement of the behavior of a various gases lead to the three conclusions. Okay. So, number one, the volume B is proportional to the volume of moles N. If we double the number of moles, keeping pressure and temperature constant, the volume doubles. Okay? So, ano daw ibig sabihin nun? So, kapag yung volume daw is proportional sa number of moles, tapos dinobli natin yung number of moles. So, keeping the pressure and temperature constant, the volume doubles. Okay? Nadodoble. So, the volume varies inversely with the absolute pressure P. If we double the pressure while holding the temperature T and the number of moles, uh, number of moles and constant, the gas compressed to the half of initial volume. In other words, Pb is equal to the constant when N and T are constant. Yun. Okay? So, pangatlo is, the pressure is proportional to the absolute temperature. If we double the absolute temperature, keeping the volume and the number of moles constant, the pressure double. In other words, P is equal to the constant T when N and B are constant. So dito, may lalabas na equation, no? So this three per, uh, relationship can be combined neatly into a single equation na kung tawagin natin ay yung ideal gas equation. This is PB equals to NRT. Ayan. Okay? So, dito, yung PB equals to NRT. So, kapag yung R natin is proportionality constant, so, kung yung R now, daw natin is constant, no? An ideal gas is one of the equation. So, kunwari, yung R daw is proportionality constant. So, dito daw, mag-hold ng all pressure and temperature. Okay? This is idea, uh, idealized model. It works best at very low pressure and high temperature. When the gas molecule are far apart and end in rapid motion. So, it is reasonable at moderate pressure and temperature well above those at which the gas liquefies. So, we might expect that uh, the constant R in the ideal gas equation are different values of different gases. 
but it turns out to have the same value for all gases. So at least at sufficient high temperature and low pressure, it it is called the gas constant. Okay? Or yung tinatawag nating ideal gas constant. So the numerical value R depends on the units of P, B, and T. So in SI unit, which P is Pascal, no? yung P dito, so kapag nasa SI tayo, delete natin to. So kapag nasa SI unit tayo, yung P natin is in Pascal. No? Or yung 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton square meter. Okay? Yung volume naman natin, yung B is naka cubic meter. And the current best numerical value for R is 8.3144 Take note, ha? 7, 2 Multiply by 15 Joules per mole. Ayan. Or pwede nating sabihin na eight point three one four joules per mole Kelvin. So, ito for the four significant figures. So, note that the units of pressure times volume are the same as unit of work or energy. So, for example, pag minultiply natin yung N over square meter, multiply natin siya ng cubic meter, no? Ito ngayon ay work or energy. That's why R, R that's why R has a unit of energy per uh, mole per unit of absolute temperature. So in chemical calculation, volumes are often expressed in liters or letter L. And pressure in atmospheric at uh, pressure in atmospheres or yung tinatawag nating ATM. So, in this system, um, pwede natin sabihin na yung R is is equal to 0 0.8 uh, 0 0.08 to 0 0.6 no? liters ATM over mole. Ayan. So, we can express the ideal gas equation na PB equals to NRT in terms of mass um, na yung M total of a gas using M total na MNM yung kanina. So, pag ganun, ang lalabas dito, papalitan lang natin, no? Ito ngayon is magiging PB so, imbis na MRT and uh, NRT, ang mangyayari is yung mass na merong total over M R T. Yan. So, from this, we can get an expression of the density. Okay? So, yung density natin is symbol niya is rho. No? So, yung rho kasi is equal to M total over volume. Okay? So, pwede natin ipasok dito as P M RT. Ayun. Okay. So, ito galing to sa formulang to. Okay. 
So, ano lang, caution lang ha. When using the equation na ganito, be certain that the, this, uh, this uh, distinguish the, the between the letter P, you know, yung Greek, Greek letter P na rho, sa letter P na malaki na P, na pressure. Okay? Magkaiba po, si rho, sa P. Okay? Yung P natin is density, Yung, P, ay, yung rho natin is density. Yung P naman natin is pressure. Ayan. Okay. Papuno na. Okay. So, for a constant mass or constant number of moles of an ideal gas, the product NR is constant. No? So, the quantity... Okay, so for a constant mass or constant number of moles for an ideal gas, the product NR is constant. So the quantity PB over T is also constant. So if the subscript 1 and 2 refers to any uh, two state of the same mass of a gas, then ang mangyayari is P1 over B1, uh, P1 multiplied by B1 over T1, is equal to P2. Uh, ayusin nga natin. Malitin ko. Dapat maliit lang na P ginagamit ko dito. Eh. P1. P1 over T1 is equal to P2. B2 over T2. So, ito is constant. So dito, ito yung tinatawag nating ideal gas. Bakit double S? Single S lang. Ideal gas na constant ang mass. Ayan. So notice that you don't need the value are to use this equation. So, we use the proportionality of pressure to the absolute temperatures dun sa susunod ng mga chapter. So, to determine a temperature scale in terms of pressure and constant gas thermometer, so, that may, it seems the pressure-temperature relationship eh ideal gas. Okay? So, balik tayo sa, ano, Meron tayo ditong example, no? Example number 2 na baga agad to. Para example number 1 pa lang siguro, ah. Iyusin natin. Okay, this is example number 1. Yan. So, what is the volume of a container that holds exactly one mole of an ideal gas at standard temperature and pressure, yung tinatawag nating STP. So, defined as T equals to zero or equals to 73.15 Kelvin. So, yung P naman natin, your pressure is one atmosphere or is equal to 1.013 times 10 raised to fifth power Pascal. Okay? So... Paano natin ito ah, ah, isosolve? So, okay, this is problem number 1. Okay. So, what is the volume? So, ang hinahanap, matically, volume. Okay. Ano daw yung volume? So, yung container daw, merong exact 1 mole of an ideal gas. So, nasa STP tayo. STP. 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 
na yung T natin is equal to 0 degrees Celsius or equals to 273.15 Kelvin. No? Yung pressure naman natin is equal to 1 point uh, 1 atm or 1 atmosphere na equal naman to sa 1.013 times 10 raised to p power na pascal okay so n equals to 1 mole so itong problema to is Um, gagamitan natin nung equation kanina. Um, itong equation na to. Yung V equals to NRT. Or yung kanina. Ayusin natin. Yung PB equals to PB equals to N, R, T. Okay? So, dito, dahil volume, baba lang natin yung P, no? So, yung B equals to N, R, T over P. Okay? Meron tayong N? Pasok. Meron tayong R? Yes po. Constant. Meron tayong T? Meron. Meron tayong P? Meron. Okay? So, dito, yung R kasi natin is yung R natin is naka J mole K no? So, gamitin natin yung naka K din. Naka Kelvin din. Okay? Tapos naka Pascal. So, pasok na natin. Volume equals to N. No? N. Yung N natin is 1. R? What is R? Yung kanina. So, review natin yung 8 point. Nasa taas ba? Wala. 8.314. So, ito pala is nakamole. Ito is naka J over mole Kelvin. Okay, temperature natin, 273.15 Kelvin over 1.013 times 10 raised to p power Pascal. So, calculator na lang to no? So, 1 times 8.314 times 273.15. Divide, divide, divide natin ng 1.013 times 10 raised to 5th power. So, dito, ang lalabas dito is naka. Cubic meter. O, ako. Tama. So, ang lalabas dapat dito is naka-cubic meter. So, this is cubic meter. Okay, pinakita ko naman kanina, no? Kung paano yan. So, pwede natin itong equate sa liters na 2.22.4. Liters. And this is our final answer. Ayun. Pasok. Sa banga. Okay. So, punta naman tayo dito sa tinatawag na ba uh, the Van der Waals equation. Uy. Van der Waals. Ano kaya yung Van der Waals equation na yan? So, 
the ideal gas na equation na yung PV equals to NRT can be obtained from a simple molecular model that ignores the volume of the molecules themselves and the attractive force between dito. Dito makikita nyo, no? Between them. So, we'll examine the model na nandito. We mention another equation state that the Van der Waals equation. Papasok tayo dito kay Van der Waals. So, that makes approximate correction for these two omission. So, this equation can be developed. Uh, itong equation na to is dinevelop pala ni Dutch physicist J.D. Van der Waals noong 19th century. Okay? The interaction between atoms that we discussed in section 14.4. So, was named from... Sir Van der Waals, interaction after him. So, yung Van der Waal equation, ah, hindi pinakita dito, so isulat na lang natin. So, yung Van der Waal equation is P pressure plus AN square over B square multiply by the quantity volume minus NB NRT So this is Van der Waal equation Yeah So the constant A no, yung constant dito na A and B are empirical constant. So, different for different gases. So, roughly speaking, yung B represent the volume of a mole of molecule. Okay? Okay, yung B daw na nagre-represent ng volume of a mole of molecules. So, the total volume of the molecule is then NB. Okay? So, NB. Ayan. So, the volume remaining in which molecule move is B minus NB. Ayan. So, yung constant A naman... Depends on the attractive intermolecular force which reduce the pressure of the gas for the given values N, B, and T by pulling the molecules together as they push the walls of the container. So, the decrease in pressure is proportional to the number of molecules per unit volume in the, lay, uh, in the layer near the wall. So, it is also the proportional to the number per unit volume in the next layer beyond the wall. So, when N over B is small, or yung N natin, over B is small, ito yung tinatawag natin na dilute, when the gas is dilute. Okay? So, the average distance between the molecule is large kasi nga na-dilute siya. So, the correction and the Van der Waals equation become significant. No? So, ito nga yung equation na to, marireduce to the ideal gas equation na PB equals to NRT. So, as an example for the carbon dioxide or yung CO2, So, for CO2, no, the constant in the Van der Waals equation are A is equal to 0 0.364 J cubic meter 
over mole cube uh, square. Okay? Yung B naman, kapag CO2, is 4.7 times 10 based to negative 5. Cubic meter over mole. Okay? So, kanina doon sa example natin, no? Yung 1 mole of ideal gas na nasa temperature na 0 degrees or 2.73.15 Kelvin and uh, one, uh, pressure of 1 atmosphere, uh, kaya niya mag-occupy ng volume na 0 0.024 cubic meter. No? So, according sa equation ng Van der Waals, 1 mole of CO2 can occupy this volume at this temperature would be at a pressure of 532 Pascal less than 180 M. So, a different of 0 0.5 from the ideal gas value. Okay? So, pasok, dito, uh, pasok tayo dito sa tinatawag na PV diagram. Okay. So we could uh, we could in a principle present in PBT relationship graphical as a surface and three-dimensional space with coordinate na P, B, and T. No? This representation sometimes help us uh, grasp the overall behavior of the substance. But ordinarily, two-dimensional graphs are usually more convenient. So, one of the most useful of this, it, uh, this is a set of graph of pressure as a function of volume. So, each for a particular constant temperature, such as PB diagram. So, yung PB diagram yung nakikita niyo dito sa 18.6, no? So, dito sa 18.6 diagram, ito yung tinatawag na PB isotherms for a constant amount of an ideal gas. So, since PB equals to NRT over B along an isotherm na constant yung T or constant yung temperature, so, the pressure P is inversely proportional to the volume B in isotherm ay hyperbolic curves. So, yung figure naman na nasa kaliwa ay nasa kanan natin is yung tinatawag na PB diagram for a material that does not obey the ideal gas equation. So, at temperature below TC, the isotherm bevel of flat region in which we can compress the material without increasing the pressure. So, observe, after observation natin dito, shown that the gas condensing from the vapor to the liquid phase. Okay? So, pasok tayo sa second topic under the thermal properties. Ito yung molecular properties of matter. Ayan. So, any specific, specific, any specific chemical compound is made up of ideal, uh, identical molecule. So, the smallest molecule contain, an, uh, contain one atom each and are of the order of 10 raised to negative 10 meter in size. So, the largest Contained many atoms are at least 10 times larger. So in gases, the, mo the molecule moves nearly independently. In liquid naman and solid, they are held together by the molecular forces. 
So, pag nasa gases daw yung mga molecule natin or independently pa, nasa hangin, palipad-lipad lang. So, kapag nasa liquid and solid state naman sila, um, uh, nagkakadikit-dikit sila dahil sa tinatawag na intermolecular forces. So, this force arise from interaction among the electrically charged particle that make the molecule. So, gra- gravitational forces between molecules are negligible in comparison with electrical forces. The interaction of two-point electrically charge is described by the force na tinatawag natin repulsive for like charges tapos attractive naman para sa unlike charges. So, with the magnitude proportional to 1 equals to R um, R square, no? So, pakita natin dito. So, yung kunwari, may dalawa. Ayan. So, meron tayong separation, no? Na R. Yan. Itong dalawang to is yung molecule. So, yung R natin is yung distance between the two points. So, yung magnitude nito, um, yung relationship nito, is pag-aaralan natin sa columns lo. Sa susunod na topic. Sa susunod na chapter. Okay? Molecule are not point, uh, point charges but complex structure containing both positive and negative charge. And their interaction are more complex. No? The force between the molecule in a gas varies with the distance R between molecules somewhat na pinapakita dito sa figure na to. Okay? Ito yung negative. Where a positive F, R, correspond to the repulsive force. No? And the negative F, R to attractive force. So, when the molecules are far apart, the intermolecular forces are very small and usually attractive. So, as a gas is compressed and its molecules are brought closer together, the attractive forces increases. The intermolecular forces become zero at an equilibrium spacing of R0. So, paano yun? So, kapag daw, yung FR is positive, no? ito daw is repulsive. Kung yung FR naman, negative, ito daw is attractive force. Okay? So, pasok tayo sa tinatawag na moles and abogrados number. So, we have used the mole as the measure of quality of substance. So, one mole, uh, quantity of substance, no? One mole of any pure chemical element or compound contains a definite number of molecule. The same number of all elements and compounds. So, the official SI is one mole is the amount of substance that contain as many elementary entities. As there are atom and 0.012 kilogram of carbon-12. So, in our discussion, the elementary entities are molecules. So, atom of a given element may occur in, in any of several isotopes where chemi- chemically identical, but where different atomic masses. So, yung carbon-12 is a specific isotope of carbon. So, the number of molecules in a mole is called the Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number. So, denoted by yung tinatawag natin Na. So, makikita nyo rin yan sa calculator nyo. So, the current best numerical value ng Na is 
Na is equal to 6.0 times 10 raised to 23rd power. So, this is molecule per mole. Okay? So, the molar mass M of a compound is the mass of one mole. It is equal to the mass M of a single molecule single molecule multiplied by the Avogadro's number. Okay? Dito papasok yung M equals to Avogadro's number multiplied by the letter M na maliit. Okay? M num. Okay? When the molecule consists of a single atom, the term atomic mass is often used instead of molar mass or molecular weight. Okay? Example number two. So, find the mass of a single hydrogen atom and of a single oxygen molecule. Ayan. May pinapahanap na naman siya. Okay, kasha pa naman dito, no? So, dito tayo. This is problem number two. Okay. So, this problem involves the relationship between the mass of a molecule of a atom. Yung target natin. And the corresponding molar mass ng malaking M. So, dito pwede natin gamitin yung formula na M equals to M num. Ay, mali. Maliit na M. M num. Yan. Okay? So, gagamitin natin tong equation na to in the values of atomic masses from the periodic table of elements. So, pwede nyo siyang makita dun sa appendix D. Okay? So, for atomic um, hydrogen, the atomic mass is yung atomic mass ng hydrogen is equal to 008 gram per mole. Okay? So, yung mali, mali, maliit na H, AM tapos H of a single hydrogen atom is 1.008 gram per mole multiply na ay divide ng natin to nung NA no? na 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 atom per mole Kakancel yung mole na. Titira. Atom. G atom. Gram per atom. Okay. So, let's check with calculator. So, 1.008. 6.022. 23. So, lalabas dito is 1.674 times 10 raised to negative 24. Only 8 grams per atom. Okay. Yan yung para sa hydrogen. Okay. Punta naman tayo ngayon sa oxygen. So, for the oxygen kasi, Ang atomic, uh, atomic mass niya is 16 grams per mole. Pero, atom yun, ha? Pag molecule kasi ng oxygen, ang molecule kasi ng oxygen is palaging dalawa. No? Paano yun? Magiging O2. Hindi yan palaging nag-iisa. Hindi yan lumalabas ng mag-isa. So, palagi yan dalawa. Or more. Okay? 
So, pag O2, dodoble na natin. So, kung yung isang oxygen is 16, gagawin siya natin 32. Okay? Gamitin dahil natin itong lang to. So, magiging mass ng oxygen natin ngayon is 32.0 grams per mole over nung ano natin, NA or uh, Burgados number. 23rd power atom per mole. So, calculator. So, palitan lang natin yung nasa taas. Na. Gawin lang natin 32 point. Ah, okay na. 32. So, this is 5. No? Or gawin natin 53. 53.1. Times 10 raised to 24. Negative 24. So, this is grams per molecule. This is our final answer. Ayan. Okay. Next. So, dito naman tayo sa kinetic molecular model of an ideal gas. Okay? So, the goal of any molecular theory of a matter is to understand the macroscopic properties of matter in terms of its atomic or molecular structure and behavior. So, once we have the, this understanding, we can design material to have specific desired properties. So, theories have led to the development of high-strength steel, semiconductor materials for electronic devices, and countless other materials essential to complete uh, contemporary technology. So, in this, in the following section, we will consider the simple molecular model of an ideal gas. So, this kinetic molecular model represents the gas as a large number of particles bouncing around in a closed container. So, in this section, we use the kinetic molecular models to understand how the ideal gas equation of state is related to the Newton's law. So, in the following section, we use the kinetic molecular model to predict the molecular heat capacity of an ideal gas. So, we're going on to elaborate the model to include the particles that are not points but have a finite size. So, our discussion of a kinetic molecular model has a several steps and you may need to go over the several times. So, ito yung tinatawag nating ano, assumption of model. Okay? So, dito sa assumption of model natin, a container with a volume B contains a very large number N of identical molecules, each with mass M. Okay? So, the molecules behave as a point particles that are small compared to the size of the container and to average the distance between the molecules. The molecules are in a constant motion. Each molecule collides occasionally with the wall of the container. These collisions are perfectly elastic. So the container walls are rigid and infinitely massive and do not move. Okay. Ito yung mga assumption natin sa gagawin nating model. Okay. So collision on gas pressure. So, during the collision of molecule exerts forces on the walls of the container, this is the origin of pressure that the gas exerts. Okay? So, in typical colli uh, collision na makikita natin dito sa figure, the velocity component parallel to the wall is unchanged. 
and the component perpendicular to the wall reserves direction but does not change in magnitude. Okay? So, our program is to first determine the number of collision that occur per unit time of a certain area. Okay? Certain area ng wall. Okay, itong area na yan. Then, we find the total momentum changes associated with this collision and the force needed to cause this momentum changes. So, from this, we can determine the pressure na bumabangga doon sa wall natin, which is pressure per unit area. And a compare result of ideal gas equation. We'll find a direct connection between the temperature of the gas and the kinetic energy of the molecule. Okay? So, to begin, we will assume that all molecules in the gas have the same magnitude of X. Okay? So, parang ganito siya, guys. Okay? So, kunwari, meron tayong wall. Meron tayong wall dito. Uh, wait lang. Ayusin natin yung drawing para medyo maganda naman. Kunwari, meron tayong wall. Ayan siya. So, so, delete natin. Ayan siya na kayo sa drawing ko. So, kunwari, meron tayong wall dyan. Meron tayong cylinder dito. Ayan. So, meron daw BX dyan. Okay? So, it's right, but uh, mat making temporary assumptions to help clarify the basic ideas. Okay? So, as shown dito, sa so figure na to, for each collision, yung x daw natin, x component of velocity changes, no? Magiging bx and by. So, yung negative by natin ay yung negative bx natin to positive bx. Okay, pag tumama na siya, magiging positive bx na. So, the x component naman changes from negative mbx to positive mbx. Okay? And the changes in x component of momentum is mbx minus the quantity um, negative mbx equals to 2 mbx. Ha! Sulat natin. So, the change daw in the x component of the momentum. So, magiging m no? The absolute value bx velocity yan ha. Um, baguhin natin yung pagkasulat ko nung so, B, X, minus the quantity M, or, mom X, no, is equal to 2M, B, X, ayan. So, if a molecular, so, if a molecule is going to collide with a given wall area, na nandito, during a small time interval, na tinatawag natin differentiation of time, or dt, no? So, kanwari dito, so, meron tayo dito, 
dx no multiply by dt or differentiation respect to t yan ito yung area ng affected so then the beginning of dt must be miss within the distance bx dt from the wall so it must be headed toward the wall so that the number of molecules that collide with A during DT is equal to the number of molecules within A cylinder with base area A. Okay? So the volume of such cylinder, no? Is area multiplied by BX DT. So, assuming that the number of molecules per unit volume is N over B is uniform, the number of molecules in the cylinder, cylinder is magiging, magiging N over B multiply the area, kasi ito yung volume, no? Px dt. Okay. On the average, half of this molecule are moving toward the wall and the half are moving away. So, the number of collision with A during DT is magiging one half. No? So, magiging one half na lang siya. So, for the, for the system of all molecules in gas, the total momentum change na the dpx is equal to one half n over b yung area natin tapos bx dp so, multiply ito ng 2M the absolute value of BX is equal to ngayon sa NA N multiply by the area M bx square dt over b. Ayan. So, dito, no, ginagamit natin yung capital na letter P for the total momentum and uh, P naman na maliit for the pressure. So, be care, be care for na lang tayo nyan, no? So, we wrote um, B um, Bx square rather than the absolute value Bx raised to 2 in the final expression because the square of the absolute value of the number is equal to the square of that number. So, the rate of changes of momentum component Px, no? So, dahil meron na tayong rate ng Px over dt, ang lalabas dito is Na M Bx square over B. Ayan. So, according sa Newton's law of no, uh, Newton's second law, this rate of change of momentum equals the force exerted by the wall area A on the gas molecule. So, from Newton's third law of motion, uh, Newton's third law, hindi motion ah, Newton's third law, this is equal to opposite to the force exerted on the wall by the molecule, pressure P. Is the magnitude of the force exerted on the wall pressure per unit area. So, ma-obtain natin siya, you know, mal P num equals to F over A, or is equal to N, M, V of X square over B. Okay? 
So, the pressure exerted by the gas depends on the number of molecules per volume. Okay? So, the mass m per molecule and the speed of molecules. Ayan. Okay. So, pasok tayo dito sa tinatawag na pressure and ah, hindi. Under pa pala to ng pressure and molecular energies. Okay. So, we mentioned that Bx is really not the same for all the molecules but could have assorted the molecules into groups having the same Bx. We need each group. Okay? So, the net effect of this is just to replace Bx raised to 2. Okay? By the average of B x raised to 2 which denoted a magiging b x raised to 2 average so we can relate that b x raised to 2 average to the speed of the molecule so the speed b of a molecule is related to the velocity component b x b y and b z so parang magiging ganito siya B2 is equal to Bx2 plus By2 plus Bz2. Okay? We can average this relationship over all the molecules. So, pwede natin siyang i-average, no? Na average is equal to This is average plus Ayan. But uh, but there is no real difference in our model between x, y, and z direction. So, molecular speed are very fast in typical gas. So, the effect of gravity are ne negligible. It follows that this one, this one, and this one must be equal. So, pwede natin sabihin na yung P raised to 2 natin na average is equal to 3. Dahil equal naman sila. Pwede natin sabihin Bx raised to 2. Average. No? So, mangyayari, Px raised to 2 na average is equal to 1 over 3. Or 1 third. Nung B squared average. So, pag pinasok natin to sa equation kanina na ito, so, lalawas dito ngayon is PB equals to 1 over 3 and NM magiging B squared na average or equals to one third and the quantity na one half ayun so na notice natin na yung one half mb2 
average is the average transactional kinetic energy of a single molecule. So, the product of this and the total number of molecule is N equal to the total random kinetic energy na K, Tr. No? So, mayayari dito, yung magiging PB equals to 2 third K, Tr. Kasi yung KTR daw is yung ito. So, kapag kinumpare natin ito sa PB equals to NRT na equation natin kanina, ang lalabas is KTR is equal to 3 over 2 NRT. And ito ngayon is yung tinatawag nating average transitional kinetic energy of n moles of an ideal gas. Ito siya nga. Ay, hindi pa. Okay. So, pasok tayo ngayon sa molecular speed, no? So, this is the formula of the molecular speed. Okay? So, yung RMS yung tinatawag nating root mean square. So, dahil electronics kayo, kadalasan nyo rin itong makikita sa mga AC system pag, kapag maki, makakita kayo ng AC system. Okay? BRMS, root mean square. So, pasok tayo ngayon sa example number 3. Yan, maganda, may example. So, what is the average transitional kinetic energy of an ideal gas molecule at 27 degrees Celsius? So, what is the total random transitional kinetic energy of a molecule in 1 moles of, of this gas? And what is the root mean square of oxygen molecule? in this temperature. Daming hingi. Okay, start tayo. This is problem number three. Ayan. Ayan. So, meron tayo different, no? Yung A is average transitional kinetic energy. Yung B, what is the total random transitional kinetic energy? Force energy. What is the RMS speed of oxygen? Okay? So, sa problem na to, nag involve ng transitional kinetic energy of an ideal gas on per molecule and per mole basis. Okay? As well as yung RMS molecular speed na BRMS. So, meron, ta, meron siyang ibinigay, no? Na yung T, yung temperature daw, is equal to 27 degrees Celsius. Na equal naman sa 3,300 K. Tapos yung N natin is 1 mole. So, we use the molecular mass M for oxygen, no? So, dito, Pwede natin gamitin yung equation number. Aling equation? Teka, iniisip ko pa. Okay. So, pwede natin gamitin dito yung equation na 1 half m velocity square na average yung mv square is equal to 3 over 2 kt no pwede nating gamitin yung formula na yan para sa paghanap ng kinetic energy of molecule tapos yung molecular kinetic energy na kt are for 1 mole naman Pwede naman natin gamitin yung formula na yung KTR. Yung 3 over 2 NRT. Yan, pwede natin gamitin yan. 
no? Tapos, for the RMS naman, pwede natin gamitin yung... Ah! Yung kanina. Yung BRMS is equal to square root of the velocity square na average or yung Yan. Pwede natin gamitin yan. So, punta tayo muna dun sa una, no? So, gamitin muna natin to. Meron tayong M. Mass of oxygen to, no? So, paano natin gagawin to? So, dito muna tayo, no? One half M Three over two KT So, dito, lalabas is Sinanap dito is transitional kinetic energy of ideal gas. Okay. 3 over 2. Ano yung kain natin? Nasa table to. Hanapin nyo na lang. 1.38 times 10 is to negative 23. This is J over K. Multiply by 3 na 300. So, pag ginamitan natin yan ng calculator, 3 over 2 multiply by 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 multiply by 300 so lalabas dito is 6.21 ang makakancel yung kay joules yung matitira so 6.21 times 10 raised to 21 negative 21 j yan Okay, yun yung para sa letter A. Letter B naman tayo. So, dito, ang gagamitin natin yung formula is yung K. TR equals to 3 over 2. NRT. So, magiging 3 over 2. Number of mole, 1. Tapos, 8 yung R natin. Multiply by natin ng 300. 3 over 2. Ah, wala na. So, this is 3, 7, 4, 1.3 or approximately 3, 7, 4, 1, 0. Ang unit dito is J. So, yung mole dito makakancel to. K naman to makakancel naman. J ang matitira. Okay? Sa BRMS naman, Ang gagamitin nating formula dito is Pwede na yung ano eh 3KT no? 
PRMS is equal to square root of 3 KT over M. So, square root of 3, 1, 3, 8, times 10, raised to 23. Constant yan, ha? 3,300 over 5.31 times 10, raised to 26 kilogram para sa oxygen to. So, ilalabas dito is 484 meters per second is our answer. Okay. Oy, may example number 4 pa. So, example number four, num four, four naman is five five gas molecule chosen a random uh, random or found a speed of five hundred six hundred seven hundred eight hundred and nine hundred meters per second what is the rms speed so paano to okay so dito pwede natin gamitin yung formula na kanina Ya yeah, average lang natin to. Yan natatandaan niyo yung formula na sana yun. Ta. So, Tingnan yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So b square na average is equal to naging 500 square plus 600 square, plus 700 square, plus 800 square, plus 900 square, all over, dahil 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divided by 5. So, ang lalawas dito is 5.10 times 10 raised to 5th power. Ayun. Okay? Pero hindi pa tayo tapos. Dahil yung BRMS is equal to square root of B squared na average. So, pag in square root natin to ang lalabas is 714 meters per second. Okay. So, meron na tayo BRMS. Yung B average naman. Yung B average naman, tanggalin lang natin tong to dito. Yung dito, dito, dito. So, magiging 500 plus 600 plus 700 plus 800 plus 900. Over 5, ang B average natin ngayon is lalabas is 700 meters per second. And this is our final answer for this example. Okay? So, pasok tayo dito sa tinatawag na collision. So, dito naman sa collision, nagko-collide yung dalawang molecule, yung between molecules, two or more. 
We've ignored the possibility that two gas molecules might collide if they are really points. They they never collide. But consider a more realistic model in which the molecules are radius sphere with the radius r. No, how often they collide with other molecule? How far do they travel on average between collisions? So we can get the approximate answer answer from the following rather um, primitive model. So dito, um, directahin ko na, no? So dito, uh, pwede tayo lum makakal makakapalabas tayo ng derivative of n. dn is equal to 4 pi r squared b dt. Yan. N over P. Yan. Tapos, does the number of collision per unit, no? Ilalabas natin yung dn over dt. Dito sa formulang to. So, pag nilabas natin yung dn over dt is equal to ngayon sa 4 pi r squared b n over b. Oh, teka. Ayan. So, this results assume that only one molecule is moving. So, the analysis is quite a bit more involved when all the molecules move at once. So, it turns out this case, the coll collision are more frank, frequent and above equation to be multiplied by the factor of Square root of 2. Okay? So, mangyayari, ito is magiging dn over dt is equal to 4 pi square root of 2 r squared, the velocity, letter n over the volume. Okay? So, the average time t means between collision. So, called the mean free time, it is reciprocal of the expression. So, para maging t mean daw ito, babalik ta rin lang natin to. Magiging b over 4 pi square root of 2 no? r squared velocity n. No? So, the average distance traveled between collision is called the free, uh, called the main free path. So, i-donate, uh, i-denoted natin siya sa tinatawag na lambda ng Greek alphabet. Okay? So, yung lambda yung ganito. So, for a simple model, this is just the molecular speed B multiplied by T mean. Okay, so yung lambda is T, uh, B equals uh, multiplied by mean. B T mean. Or equal to B over 4 pi square, uh, square root of 2 R square N. Ayan. So, the mean free path is inversely proportional to the number of molecules per unit volume. So, and the inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area of pi r squared of a molecule. The more molecule are the larger the molecule. So, the shorter the mean distance between the collision, note that the mean free path does not depend on the speed of the molecule. So, we can express um, this from this equation, no? Yung equation na nakikita nyo. In the terms of microscopic pro properties of gas. Using the ideal gas equation. So, galing doon sa equation kanina na...
PB equals to NKT, no? Pwede nating sabihin na yung lambda equals to KT over 4 pi square root of 2 R tapos P na maliit. Okay? So, ayan siya. So, tapusin muna natin to for this example. No? Tapusin lang natin itong example na ito. Cut muna natin yung video. So, this is example number 5. So, estimate that the main free fat of a molecule of air is at 27 degrees Celsius and 1 atmosphere mo. Model the molecule as a sphere with a radius of 2 times 10 raised to negative 10 meters. So, estimate the mean free time of an oxygen molecule with B equals to BRMS at 27. Okay. So, paano to? So, this is example. Number 5. So, wait lang guys ha. Ayusin ko lang tong table. Example number 5. So, this problem uses the concept of mean free path, no? And mean free time. So, from the equation natin na uh, lambda, ito yung gagamitin natin, lambda is equal to kt over 4 pi uh, square root of 2r squared p. Okay? Yan ang gagamitin natin. Saka yung isa nating equation, yung, yung may timin ito. Okay? Yan ang gagamitin natin mga equation dito. So, simulan natin doon sa letter A na hinahanap niya. So, lambda is equal to kt over 4 pi square root of 2r r squared p. So, directly, lalagay one point, yung k natin, no? Constant. Multiply by 300 over 4 pi square root of 2. Yung r natin binigay niya, no? 2.0 times 10 raised to negative 10. Yung P natin is 1 point. 1 kasi nasa um, 1 ATM, no? So, dito, uh, lalabas dito is 5.8 times 10 meter. Ayan. So, sa letter B naman, hindi na tayo ng kasya. Letter B. So, letter B, yung T mean is equal to lambda over B or magiging 5.8 times 10 raised to negative 8 meters over 484. meters per second. So, dito lalawis 1.2 times 10 raised to negative 10 second. Okay? So, dito, um, puputuling ko muna, no? And, magre-record ako ulit ng kadugtong nito. Kasi, lampas na tong 1 hour. Okay? Sige, guys, sabangan nyo yung um, kadugtong nito.